Good morning, Frank. This is really amazing. It did not take long for this community in Torrance to come together. They say they want to stand up and fight back against racism. I mean, look at this group. They all showed up here. It kind of took off on social media where they called on the community to come out here and stand up to what they say is a woman going around this town uh, just attacking people and, 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 and being racist and yelling and cussing and all kinds of things. So they said they're not going to stand for that. Here's what they're doing. They're all wearing black because the woman actually taunted one of her targets for wearing black on a hot California day. Now, at least three of her rants were caught on cell phone cameras. Take a look. Oh, okay, you're Do you making know a racist comment right now. You can't stand you being oh, here. Oh, great. You play games. We don't play games. Oh, what kind of game are you playing? I play games where you get to death. This is what happened to a man from Torrance who was with his 11 year old son at Wilson Park in Torrance. But it did not stop there. The woman kept screaming and cussing. And just when it looked like she was leaving, she would come back and yell some more. The family time, my man. Respect. Respect. Respect people. Respect. Lady, I don't understand your language. Respect. In 2020, nobody should be hearing these kind of racial slurs. My dad was innocent, and he didn't. He he did nothing wrong, so I was confused. Now, it turns out there might be other victims out there. Another woman who was working out at the park says she was also a target. And then a third woman who said when she heard that woman's voice on the local news, she knew immediately it was the same woman who attacked her last October in a public restroom crazy lady points down at me and says, you better not get the F up or else. And then I get up, of course, and then that's when she physically grabs my hair and pushes me down and starts punching the back of my head. Back out here live. I'm joined by Mel. Mel, I, I, I saw you. And first of all, I love your shirt. We need more love. I think that's really important. What brought you out here today? I'm a member of Afterburn Fitness, and it's such a powerful community. And I just think the show of love here will will um, make more people think twice before saying those kind of words. I think it's so important for people to speak up. I am appreciative of the guy who took that video because he took that video, he stood up, and often I may not have stood up in that situation. But look at all the love that's out here saying that you know it's all about us coming together as one community and realizing that the positive words make a big difference more so than that negative the negativity that's out there. I'm shocked at all these people. Are, are you surprised or, or, or how do you feel about this? I'm surprised because I thought I was coming out here and I'd be like one of 10, but I know the power of Afterburn and Ty and Randy and their ability to bring people together for a common good. So I'm just so grateful for you coming out too to, to really spread the message to all those that have hate in this world that really we just really want to be one, one world, one community. Well, thank you, Mel. I appreciate you talking, talking to us. Uh, I, I hate to get in, your, in the middle of your workout. So you go right ahead. Uh, you know, again, one of the things that's really interesting here is it happened so fast. It kind of took off on social media, and that was what prompted this group to come forward. We do know that the, at the police department here in Torrance is investigating. We don't know a lot about the woman who's been caught on camera, whether or not, uh, you know, she has some other problems going on in her life. They're trying to identify her, trying to tell us exactly what's going on. We'll stay in contact with the police department. In the meantime, I just want to show you what it's like to see a community, people who may not have known each other before this moment, coming together to stand up for what's right. Back to you guys in the studio.